Well, hello everybody. Look at this. I gotta pick up this gold that's on the floor. This is like gold to me. Um, so I ordered another one of these for 60 bucks. Of course, you know, again, I slipped up. Didn't do my research before I bought this channel. This is commercial grade channel. It's like $122 for that one five foot piece and one of these. So if you want another one of these, it's 60 bucks. So now, um, this trolley goes this way, right? So we'll line this up as this, this borrow act like this is duplicating that. So normally they would bolt on like this, but I can't do that. I got to turn them this way. So I had to make a couple and they're drying over here right now. So I had to make these so it'll bolt down one way and then twist the wheel the other way. And I, I fully welded these on, painted them a pretty red color. So once that's fully dry, um, I'll bolt them on and then I'll be ready for when the other wheel comes in like tomorrow. Got the big boy out today. Got the big 215,000 BTU. And uh, the other one's acting stupid. And I'm not messing with it right now. I think it's just a dirty filter. I've had it for years, but... Yeah, that bender is a nice coat hanger now. So, um... So that's what I had to do with this. I started using this material I had down here. This was going to be my plates that went across here. This is tempered. This is tempered. I blew up, I don't know how many drill bits trying to drill through this. And then I said, screw that. I just found a scrap of angle iron and said, I'll use that. I mean, yeah, I couldn't believe it. So this is the size diameter I used um, for the other one. This Chucky, this is Chucky. Say hi to Chucky. Hi, my name is Chucky. Um, it works in here, but not good enough. So I said, pee pee on it. So I went and bought a new chuck, um, a three quarter inch chuck to put in here, not a half inch. So I want three quarters in here because, and I've geared this, I've geared this all the way down the first gear, basically. So my RPM on this is around 200 RPMs. Oh. Nope, not quite. Not quite. I am at uh, 290 RPMs. So my drill spinning at 290. They had it spinning at uh, wide open at 3630. I'm like, what the heck? Why did it spinning so fast? You'll smoke your drill bits like that. So I turned it all the way down, and now it's got... Oh, that's where it goes. Oh, I was wondering what the hell that was. Oh, look at that. Um, yes, yeah, so I ordered a whole new chuck with uh, the lock-in pin thing, whatever the hell you call it. And uh, so now, of course, in the middle of a thing, I'm out of gas. So, I got to change my gas bottle. And if nobody's ever seen this before, this is how I do it. So, if you notice, there is a hinge here. So, there's a hinge, but they're all glued to rubbers. So, when it's top sits down it's on all the rubber so no part of this top is like i was saying before touches but yeah i'm right on uh i'm out i'm on zero and the welder started acting stupid and i'm like all right i knew it was getting down low but i'm like all right so let's change it so that's what i'll be doing once i get one of these 
And I'll just slide that tank up out of there and drop the other one back in. And then bada boom, bada bing, full tank. And then I'll throw this one in my car. And uh, go from there. But All right. I got to do this seven-handed. See, I could have used my damn winch pulling this out. Oh. All right. I'll be right back. All right. One out, one in. What's nice is, like I said, I bring the tank and I set it. I sit it on this ledge right here, and then I could slide it around. Um, I can't see how much gas is in this tank. 15. How's that read? 1,000. Okay, 15. 1,700 pounds. Yeah, 1,700 pounds. Good. Good, good. I didn't know if this tank was possibly, you know, draining down. But I always shut it off, the tank off. As soon as I'm done welding, I shut it off. I'm going to watch this one little wire there. We don't want to get that pinched in there. Down scope. So now today, there we go. So that's how that goes. So today I'm going to clean this bench off. It's got like little rust divots on it and stuff, like little splatter spots like this on here. I've got to knock them off quick. And uh, this, I'll throw this in my car. Next time I'm down that way, I'll swap it out for another one. I think it's 50 or 60 bucks for that tank. I can't remember. And, uh, yeah. Throw that in my back seat. I go down to Prax Air. It's down there in Marcy. But when they fill the tank up, they wrap this tape around the nozzle. Like, that's really going to hold if it starts leaking air. I guess. I, I don't freaking know. But there. Always, always in the middle of a project, I run out of gas. You know, it's like every time. So I said to Howell with it, and I bought the tank. It was 300 and something dollars for the tank. So I own these tanks. They're mine. So, but I go and I just swap them out. So, so this way I don't pay a rental fee. Because normally you would pay a rental fee. I don't pay a rental fee. I just go down, give them this tank. They give me a new tank, and I just pay for the gas, and that's it. Oh, these dry already cool all right so i'll keep you updated here as i as i move along because now i'm going to start working on the back frame of that now that these are done for the lift and then i gotta drill and put a bolt in the end of it so it doesn't go flying off the trolley uh, they do make stoppers but i'm not buying a stopper why could why do why should i buy a stopper when i can just stick a damn bolt in there you know okay i'll keep you updated here so here's what I was talking about. The trolley wheels are here. And then um, the other one will be mounted on this side, just so I have a straight line. Um, what I didn't think of, and I admit my mistakes, I didn't center these. So I welded one off over here, welded one off over here. So they're kind of, one's here, one's there, which is fine. So this will go on the outside one, and this will go on the inside one. And that'll, that'll straighten everything right up perfect for me so wow that fits in there nice so there's that oh look at my decals coming off so now tomorrow when the other wheel comes in i'll put them in here stick it up there we're done okay now now we're moving on to this yep now we're moving on to this so here we go well, you can see some of the progress coming along. I got the rails drilled in here. I left a little extra um, sticking out the back here in case I have to weld something here. So I left that because I can always hack it off. I don't want it. I got the wheels all pushed in. Now... The bearings, well, here's the sprocket. So that's close to being lined up. It's got to go this way. 
But what I'm wondering now is, yeah, I don't think, yeah, I'm going to have to leave the bearing right there because I was thinking if I push the bearing closer to the tire like this, would I be able to get this flipped around and still reach in here? No, it hit the bearing. All right, so the bearings ought to be on the inside. I got everything leveled off right now. This is where it's going to be. Um, so I got everything basically set into place to start welding the back half of the frame up. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it and notch it in at a 45 that I wanted here. You know something? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can make a 45 over here in the floor, Let's measure this, and stick it in. 45 it from here back, and then run another brace across the back. Because this frame, I'm going to keep this frame going right on out the back. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, so it's a lot of measuring. A lot of freaking measuring. you got to measure, you know, the space here to make sure this is, what, seven and a quarter. Then the back's got to be seven and a quarter because his bearings flip around. So then you got to make sure this is seven and a quarter, which is not. It's under seven inches. So that means something's cockeyed. I think it's this side. So, yeah, there's just a lot of stupid crap. See? I don't know. This is what I'm going to have to figure out. See, this is what's nice if you have another person. You know, on the back half of the ruler. I'll make this seven make a seven and uh let's see what the back is but yeah everything's basically i got this clamp down in the back you probably saw that and that took a while i had to go get my big clamp so what i'll end up doing is cutting straight across i'll be cutting this off and welding one straight across the back so did i get this at seven inches yep Yep, seven inches. Good. All right. Well, now I get to cut a couple chunks off of that and cut two forty fives in, so it'll it'll slant in like like that. If you kind of get what I'm saying, and then I'll have to come in and just cut these back off. But yeah, so I'm gonna put it all together, weld everything all together, so nothing moves. Come back. Then I have to take the wheels off. I have to cut the axle. Um, yeah, I have to pound that over an inch. And, um, yeah, I go from there. So, yeah, that way when I put it all back together, I can see, you know, if I can do this sprocket the other way. Because looking as I'm seeing it right now, the the sprocket's right here, so, God, it's only off like a quarter of an inch, so I got that play right there. All right. Well, that's what she's going to be looking like here pretty soon. Boy, I tell you, what I paid for this damn thing is already paid for itself. Look at these nice cuts this thing did. Look at those nice 45s. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So these would be welded in like this, going from there to there, and from this side, like that. So that's what's going on right there. I'll slide it back, get them all nice and even, Stephen. So this is what I was talking about. These, so these will be cut off. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe I'll cut them off short. And then, see, this is me thinking on the fly here. I'm thinking on the fly. Look out. Shaky phone scene coming up. Hey, that was a shaky phone scene. I can put my foot pegs on. I can weld them right onto there. Gee, I didn't even think of that. I'll have to check out the wheel clearance. Clarence. Let's see, these fold some freaking way. Which way do these fold? I don't know which way they fold. 
but oh this is a folded up position right now okay there there's folded down all right there we go yeah so i can just weld them right onto there like that and just cut this bottom off because i don't need that and there's my foot pegs sweet see how i figure things out just right on the fly but I'm telling you, this little piece of crap is amazing. I changed the blade. I put a longer blade in. And the only thing was, it was almost impossible to get this blade off. So I chipped it and it was still cutting good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I almost broke the tang off of this thing. I stopped using this and I had to get my vice grips out. And I had to put my vice grips on that nut right there. And then the little wrench goes down in here. And I'd use my voice scripts. Jesus. Okay, weldy weld time. Well, I think I'd bring you up to date. My garbage picked this. Oh, handlebars are gone. So, I cut the handlebars off of this mount. And that's going to go into the, that. That was the original handlebars. But I wanted a straight bar. So I just came back from the grinder. And I'm going to weld that onto here. So that's going to be the handlebars for this. So there'll be like a straight bar up here. And then um, I'll cut them shorter as whatever I need or don't need. But the foot pegs are on. I kind of don't like the way they aim up in the air like that. But, you know, this, the stoppers on the bottom right here, they're, they hit. Meh, they're on there. So, this thing, and the wheel misses everything by a mile. And if you pull the wheelie up, look at the framework under this. Got the A frame in there. The frame's tied into the back of the frame there. Yeah, this ain't going anywhere. I gotta get some bolts. I'm missing a bolt there. But, I found two, but I just stuck these in loose just to keep everything lined up. I'm going to get some weld down here. I got, you know, something I might be able to hit that with the grinder and just take that edge off of that foot peg to make them sit flatter. So I'm almost to the point to where I can pull the wheels off and cut the axle and get everything close to what I want. So it ain't going to be running today. I'm not rushing through this, taking my time, but... Um, now you see what it looks like. It's got a little bit of a forward lean to it. You know, it looks totally different. It looks like the front end should come up probably, yeah, like that much, three quarters of an inch. But guess what? I ain't worrying about it. I can easily do that. I can take three quarters of an inch right out of here and bring the front end down and make it leveler. But this way, it's got a little bit of a little bit of a dragster rake to it. I still got a lot more to go. There's still a lot more. I got to put a some type of wheelie bar off the back because I know this thing's gonna want to go over on me. But as to the frame, the frame's almost done. Um, you know, I just start like just setting parts on it and getting it closer and closer and blah, blah, blah. And, and that's it. But yeah, on the handlebars, I'm only going to need uh, my brake levers and my kill switch. And like that much on one side, then the grip. So it's probably only going to need like probably five inches on each side so this will probably be cut down to maybe i'll lose four inches off each side so then it'll fit the look of the bike i mean it it'll end up probably being like this wide of handlebars when i'm done so yeah all right i gotta weld these up all right that's enough for me today i've had enough of this crap so there's the handlebars Here's the axle I could keep ducking from. I shaved the pedals down a little bit. It brought them down a little bit. 
so the foot pegs so they're not going to be in the way of anything um yeah so pretty much i just got to break the whole back end apart now and take everything apart i got to measure the axle so i'll know what to do and then uh everything from there forward i guess um thinking about just now just now i was thinking about i bought these for nothing oh well yeah the last cut i just made with this thing i started smoking i'm like no because it bound up with like Wing! and the smoke started pouring out the back i was like uh oh just let me finish and then you can blow up all you want i don't care so let's see yeah the gas tank will be up here and somebody's like yeah put the gas tank right above the blah 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 well you know this has a fan in it and it blows the heat across the fins this way so when you're looking at this engine the fans blowing the heat that way across the fins so it's not blowing it up on top of the engine so I forget who says all this weird goofy shit, but so I got a hole there so I can put a tab, I can weld a little piece of angle iron with a hole, then the fuel line's going to land right on the spark plugs, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, well, things to figure out, that's all. And then, uh, and then the seat, the seat, the chain, a couple few wires, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe next day I'll do the front brakes. I got the front disc on. That's for the rear disc. Now I got the bolts. I should, should have put it on. But see, this is the little stuff I got to finish up in here. And then center the axle up to get the sprocket over more and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's it. There are my little handlebars I just made. They just ground it, welded it all in. And uh, I can go this way with it. Or I can turn them around and go backwards with it. But I think I'm going to like them forward. It's just setting in there now. I don't even have the top nut on yet. But yeah, so these may get shorter. They may only be, you know, a foot wide instead of a foot and a half wide. So, yep. So there it is. So far, that's it. So let me know what you think. I'm having fun doing this, but Ron, if Ron ever stops by to visit, we could be working on this together, Ron. That'd be fun. Now, debating on putting a brace from here to here to the engine, because I don't want the engine just sitting on a pedestal, you know, just like, like that type of deal. So I, I'm probably going to put something in there, like maybe that or who knows. Who knows? I don't know. I'll do something. I brace everything. I look at it, I look at it, and then I brace it. You know? But, so, I kind of liked a, how I did the A in here. Kind of wide that off. Eh. What do you expect? I'm making this thing on the fly. This ain't made out of blueprints. Alright, everybody. I'll catch you later. I'm going to get my leaf blower over here and blow all this grinding dust off onto the floor, like I always do. Pick up some of my mess and get ready to start it all over again tomorrow. Maybe, or maybe I'll take a day off. I don't know. All right, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. You know, like I said before, you never know what's going to happen in this garage. I get a bug in my ass and I'll come up with some weird ass thing like this out of the blue. And, you know, my mind's weird. All right, take care.